Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you the top 10 websites that everybody should know. And I'll add a bonus one at the very end, that's one of my favorite ones. And if it's your first time here, I post easy to follow tech and social media videos on this channel every single day, so please consider subscribing. Let's jump into the list. I'll put all these links in the description below for you to check out. So the first one is called Similar Web, and it's actually a service, but it has a free option that's super easy. Let's say you found a website online and you don't know how legit it is and how long it's been around, how much traffic it gets. You could actually come on here and you could type in the website's name here right on top and then it will show you the website. It will show you how popular it is in the world and in the country of its origin and it will show you how much visits it gets every single month. Now, this is typically a business tool to kind of compare what other websites are getting, but for a person, it's really handy to know how popular a website, especially when they're using it as an e-commerce website and buying different things from it. So this number will tell you exactly how many other people are coming on here and where those people originate from. The traffic by country, you can see most of it for TED.com is from the US. And it will also tell you where the traffic comes from. Does it come from search or direct or ads? Really useful information just for anybody to decide if the website they're using is legit or not. The next website is Social Blade. And Social Blade is kind of like similar web, but is for social media handles. So let me show you. If you look up my YouTube channel here, you could figure out exactly how much money a YouTube channel makes. So over here it says estimated yearly earnings, and it's usually somewhere in between these two numbers here with the range. So for example, Ryan's World, one of the biggest YouTube channels that there is, you could go ahead and search for that here under the YouTube tab, and then when you're having conversations with other people, you could just use this to verify how much they make. So there was a report that this channel last year made 26 million, so you could see it's right within the middle of that range and you could use it for other platforms as well. So same thing for Instagram and for Facebook, YouTube, everything could be searched here with Social Blade. This one I use all the time. So when you go to a website or an app and you think it's down, you could actually check here to see if it's down for you and it's a Wi-Fi issue for you or for everyone else. So let's look up YouTube here. And right here, it's gonna show you that YouTube is it down for just you or everyone else, and it's gonna have a little graph. So let me just choose the YouTube app here. And no problem at YouTube. So you gotta get an idea of if a website is just down for you or everyone else. Next, TED.com. One of the best ways to learn anything about technology, art, science, is on TED.com. And there are short 10 to 15 minute talks here from the world most renowned people in different industries that you see over here. So you could go ahead and in just 10 minutes consume a lot of information about very specific topics that you might be interested in. So these are the world most renowned people in different topics sharing their ideas with you in a short consumable video that you could watch on your mobile app or on TED.com on your computer. Canva.com is a platform that you could use to create graphic for everything, including social media, presentations, banners, logos, so much that this has to offer. They also have an app called Canva. But let me show you how to use this. So when you jump into Canva, a lot of the options here are free. They do have a pro option as well. That's gonna basically unlock everything. But right here, create a design and you could choose anything that you wanna design. And just about everybody at some point will need some kind of a nice design for something. It could be their Facebook cover, it could be a t-shirt, social media, but you could simply click on one of these and you could start with an online canvas here and they have a bunch of different templates. So if you wanted to make a social media sales graphic here, you could go ahead and click one of these and then go ahead and edit the text as you like. Very, very, very simple to use. All these elements are here. And I have a different tutorial on how to use this. So I'll put it under the Canva link if you wanna learn more about it. Next you have printfriendly.com. So the nice thing about this website is a lot of things are not easy to print based on the way they are laid out online. So you could take a Wikipedia link, for example, and paste it here and preview. So let me show you that. Let me go ahead and open Wikipedia here. And let's just look up the word sun here. And let's say you wanted this to be a lot more print friendly than what you see here. You'll just take the URL on a 
Mac, press Command C on a PC, Control C to copy, and then come over here and Control V or Command V and press preview. And just like that, it's gonna make it as print friendly as possible here. And you could go ahead and either print it or save it as a PDF or email it. Creativecommons.org is our next website. And it's one of the biggest websites It's actually in the list of top 100 websites, but I know a lot of people have never heard of it. But what you could do here, Creative Commons basically means images and bunch of different collections like text and audio that are available for anyone to use without copyright. That's what Creative Commons means. So you can learn more about what Creative Commons means and search a whole bunch of different things on here using this platform. So for example, let me come down here and look, you have music, that's Creative Commons, bunch of photos, educational material, scientific research, 3D models. So, so many different things that are part of the Creative Commons world. You could basically click and use for different purposes, let's say for your own videos or for your own presentations. They're all available to you on creativecommons.org. Next, you have Calorie King. And let's say you want to find out how many calories an apple has. You just type in apple, pick the type that you want to find out about, and then it will tell you 93 calories for a medium apple. So a very useful website, let's say a Big Mac, you're curious about that, you could go ahead and click that and find out how many calories a Big Mac has. And it's gonna break down the layout of the micronutrients here, carbs, fiber, protein. Very, very useful app to find out how many calories things have and how long it takes to burn off the exact thing. So to burn off a Big Mac, you have to jog for almost an hour. Number nine is archive.org. And I have to warn you, you could spend hours on this website and get really lost. It's really fun to use. But if you go ahead and type in uh, the website domain, for example, I'll do instagram.com here and press go, it's gonna show you the entire history of this website on the internet. So as you could see here, about 2011 when Instagram was launched, the activities start to really pick up. And every time the website has an update, it will have one of these bubbles here. So let me go back, way back to 2014 here, and it's gonna show you all these dates that you could choose and see what the website looked like exactly on that date. So let's do February 21st. 76 different snapshots of the website. Let me just choose one of these random times. And this is what Instagram.com looked like back in 2014 on that specific day based on that update. So you could use this pretty much with every website on the internet and kind of get the history of the website from the beginning to now. And finally, realgood.com is a way where you could see exactly what programs are showing on what platforms. So now with the streaming wars really heating up and so many different streaming platforms showing so much good content, this tries to simplify the whole search for you. So you could add your service. Let's say you have HBO and Netflix and maybe Showtime. You could add those here and then kind of get an overview based on personalizing it of what's trending on the platforms that you have. But my favorite thing about this is this last link that I saved here, which is a Netflix roulette. If you have a hard time on Netflix, for example, to find out exactly what to watch, you could come here, you could type the genre here, select one of these, let's say action and adventure, choose movie or TV show or both, and then you could choose the score. So let's say I only want at seven plus on IMDb and seven plus on 70 plus on Rotten Tomato. I could go ahead and press spin here and it's gonna pick a movie for me based on the IMDb and Rotten Tomato score. So combining those two, you're gonna get really good results. And then you could spin it again and spin it again, and it's gonna give you a bunch of different options here, and you could learn more or watch if you have Netflix. Super simple to use, but a very big time saver. I use this one all the time. I hope between these 10 websites, you found some of them useful and some of them were new to you. Please give this a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next tech and social media video, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.